my bum look 40. I am here today with Label Mix to answer some of your styling questions using products from the new collection. Now, Label Mix by Next is a collaborative concept that supports and champions fashion's rising stars, showcasing some of their great products, lots of which we've got here. So let's start with the first question. Okay, the most popular question by a country mile, how do I get dressed after lockdown? Have people actually forgotten what they should be wearing? No, of course they haven't, but apparently they may have. So the quickest solution I have got for this, how to make yourself feel instantly more confident, add colour. I've started large. I've just gone in, straight in, big, bold, red knit from Hill and Friends. Smile, just look in the mirror. And actually, do you know what's really nice with something like this? When you go out, this is going to make other people smile. As cheesy as it sounds, I promise you it works. If you're looking for something a little bit more neutral, this cashmere jumper from Jumper1234, yes, I love it. It would work so well with all the neutrals that you already have. And I think that is one of the main keys. We don't want to be going out and buying loads and loads and loads of new things. Maybe a little shoe, even two of them, will make you feel that little bit, little bit Smilier. These are from Hill and Friends, a beautiful red shoe with a pink detail. Can you just see as well, I love the pink detail at the back. And what you can't do, we need feel a vision, is feel that these are buttery, buttery soft leather. They will be beautifully comfortable. That's the other thing as well. We don't want to suddenly go and get into all sorts of structured clothing. We're looking for something that is still comfortable, but at the same time, just that little bit more fun. These, for example, would be ideal with an all black outfit. If you're not looking to introduce loads of color, maybe just a little bit of silver with all your beautiful black things you already own, absolutely perfect. Alternatively, you could go big or go home. Now, I know this looks very, very scary, but I'm sure that we've all got t-shirts, jeans, trainers in our wardrobe. An addition of a little pink blazer, that is going to make you smile from Pom Amsterdam. What I would wear with that is a really easy nod to spring, a David Bowie tee. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I am 48, but I have to say I still love a band tee. For me, it's the juxtaposition of something slightly smarter with something a lot more casual. All you need is a pair of old jeans and off you go. Alternatives to jeans. Is there something that you can wear that is as comfortable, as versatile, as casual, but can look smart? Yes, there is. Otherwise, that would be a really rubbish question to have put forward, really, wouldn't it? Um, starting with a pair of classic car keys. These are from Second Female. They have the they have the weight and the luxury that a denim has um, without being as casual, I suppose. I mean, these you could happily wear for work. One of the questions we are asked so often is, I have a smart casual wardrobe, but I'm not allowed to wear jeans. I'm also not allowed to wear trainers. These are what you want for this then. That's just a little, little bit of extra there. Um, but as a trouser, a jean alternative, these are wonderful. Any location where you would wear a jean, these will go wonderfully. You can also wear them in the evening with a silk shirt and heels. Very, very versatile. And that's what we're looking for in our wardrobe. Things that offer versatility. Coming up, oh my God. These are my absolute favorite. The classic cargo pant, but in a beautiful, luxurious, silky, drapey fabric. So yes, you can make these casual. You could easily wear this with a sweatshirt and trainers. On the other hand, you could wear them to work with your pumps, with any shoe that you wanted. There wasn't a trainer if you're not allowed to wear trainers. Alternatively, in the evening, because of the drapiness and the sheen to the fabric, they almost look like a silk. Um, I love the pocket detailing, um, self-tie belt, which is just Again, just that little bit of extra detailing that all the label mix products have, thanks to their wonderful designers. Again, at the bottom, you can do all sorts of magic with the cuff to give you a couple of different styling options. These are my top, top, top tip. I love these ones. In fact, I wonder if, no, no, I need to put them back. I need to put them back. 
Next up, you don't want to, it's actually gene alternative, but these would also work for a jogger alternative as well, okay? So let's just imagine that we threw that question in as well. These are a crepe um, from Safin, a crepe wide leg trouser. Faux pocket detail at the back, which is very, very flattering on the derriere, um, but it's the size detail that I love. So you sort of get that sports looks look, um, but in something that is just so, so, so flattering, so easy to wear. Again, wear this with trainers, wear this with a tee, wear this with a track top, wear this for work with a, with a, a blouse. We've got jumper alternatives as well. Um, or you can wear it just with a t-shirt. Um, it's just the most useful pair of trues. I was gonna call them slacks, but that makes them sound really bad. So I won't use that word. I will use the word trouser. Did I mention they also have pockets. Every trouser and every skirt, by law, should have pockets. Just throwing that out there. These are stunning and they wash, I know, because I've got a very similar pair, like a dream. So now we're talking alternatives to knitwear. It was specifically jumpers actually, but I I'm not gonna say knitwear because in fact I do have something that's knitted, but we'll do that in a minute. First of all, the best alternative, the blouse. Now don't think I've lost my mind, okay? Because actually, if you think about the occasion when you would wear a jumper, a blouse, I can't, sorry, it's just the most ridiculous word to me, but actually they're amazing, amazingly useful tops, shall we call them, they're blouses. This one is from Primrose Park. It is stunning. It is a beautiful, lightweight, drapey fabric, incredible colours, beautiful neckline, which would pretty much suit every single bust. Um, and it works in exactly the same way as a jumper works. Also, can we look at the gorgeous cuffed sleeves? Love a cuffed sleeve. Um, you can either wear this tucked in because it is so fabulously silky that it's not going to give you loads of bulk around your middle, or do a little half tuck, or the way that they are designed with their beautiful scalloped edge, um, you can easily wear untucked. Next up. Color of this is so incredibly stunning. It's just the most beautiful way to transition yourself into the spring. So you can still wear it with all your gorgeous black winter and autumn items that you've been wearing. The addition of black makes this suddenly so, so, so easy to match, um, but it's light. I'm gonna call it cornflower blue. It also comes with an extra tie, which I love. So you can actually wear it as a little tie around the neck. Um, or you could wear it as a headscarf, you can wear it as a belt, belt that through your trousers, would look amazing. Wear it as a little tiny ne um, little tiny wristband, you could wear it. Or I love it when it's sort of round the, sort of, no, when it is, just tied very nonchalantly, or just tied, in fact, round the handle of your um, handbag. Basket as we come into the summer. A beautiful addition, would also look amazing with ecru jeans, would go with jeans, would go with black trousers, you could wear it to work, you can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can suddenly see the appeal of the blouse, the blouses. But there is one here that I just adore. This one is from Fabienne Chapeau, which I love. Always the most incredible details. Look, a little tiny star button. Again, beautiful cuff detail. This is what label mix designers do so incredibly well. It is the extra attention to detail that they have. A gorgeous gold Eurex thread going through would look amazing with, I mean, let's have a look, look maybe with anything, the black wide leg trousers. It would look incredible to be dressed up or dressed down with the cargo trousers. Um, or how about a black leather skirt? I'm going to talk about that another time, so I'll save that because I love it so much. But now we are talking about blouses. However, I did say I was going to talk about a knit. A cardigan. The semantics are that it's a cardigan and not a jumper, which is why I'm allowed to talk about it in here bear with me. So essentially you've got a v-neck jumper which you can wear like that. Absolutely perfect. This is from Yate. It's just wonderful. The joy of a cardigan is that you can actually unbutton it. So whilst you can wear it like that with just, you know, your bra or a little little negligee, I was going to say negligee, hmm, a little t-shirt or a vest underneath, um, or a negligee, um, you can also then, of course, undo it and just wear it as a jacket in its own right. It would look great over a dress. I've got a 
beautiful black dress here. Look amazing over that. Wear it over your shoulders. Wear it aff. It's just so many more options than just a good old plain jumper, which I do love. Two other slight knitwear alternatives. And these are great because these will actually go to wear to work as well. So lots of jumpers are, right, are very casual. I was gonna say right casual. Oh my Lord, lots of jumpers are very casual. These two, yes, they're casual, but they sort of have a semi-shirt look to them. That's because they've got a collar. Both of them, incredibly flattering. This one you can um, dress, uh, you can dress up or dress down. Um, you can actually do all the buttons up. This is from Next Mix, and if you can see, each button has a has been done with a little different coloured cotton. It's really, really pretty. A tiny detail, as I've said, they are the things that make the difference. Um, this one is from Yate again, and it's sort of like a almost like a polo shirt feel to it would work perfectly for pretty much every occasion, with jeans, with black trousers. It's just a jumper, but not as we know it. Look at that, lovely alternative stripe detail. Absolutely wonderful. Now, another question. How do we elevate our basics? And how do we get out of a style rut? I put these two together because I actually think they're pretty much the same thing. If all you've got are basics that you're really bored of wearing, you are probably in a style rut. The easiest way is, I'm looking here for inspiration, where in fact it's here, add an accessory. I just, I mean, these are all going to fall off, look. Is there anything more cheery and more designed to put a smile on your face than a bag that actually has a smile on its face? So these are Hill and Friends bags. These two are, and they are wonderful. Leopard, the best neutral that there is, will pretty much, no, I'm going to say pretty much, will go with everything in your wardrobe. Absolutely everything. But the int introduction of just a new, smiley face, a new happy bag, can make such a difference. Alternatively, there is this by the amazing Bex Sondergaard. Um, I love this so much. I'm just gonna wear it, like I just, I'm, I'm off now. Thank you, I'm done. I'm good, thank you very much. I love it. Beautiful leather tassel detail. It just makes me smile, it just makes me happy. Will work perfectly with denim, will work perfectly with black, will work with so, so, so many options. A beautiful bag. Um, alternatively, why don't you think about elevating your basics with, we've spoken about um, leopard print, what about a leopard print skirt? Because it is a neutral, it will go with everything in your wardrobe. This is a wrap skirt from Fabien Chapeau and it is beautiful. You will be able to wear this on the beach, you will be able to wear this for work depending on what your work is, but it will work for smart and casual occasions. It will work in the winter with boots. It will work in the summer with a t-shirt, with a t-shirt, with a knit. It looks amazing with that on top. Alternatively, how about a beautiful, it's just lovely. There are so many options that you can wear with it. That actually, looking at that now, is my absolute favorite. And I would just like to put that on right now, please, thank you very much. Um, but as you can see, one skirt can actually go with so many more things. Another option that you can look at doing is buying two things which work together as a dress, sorry, that goes that way around, um, because it's got a beautiful ruched detail here, as you can see. Um, so it can work together as a dress. Hey presto, there you've got, if you're in a star art, a new outfit can make you feel like a gazillion million dollars. Alternatively, better than a dress, dress, two separates. Suddenly you've got another shirt, another skirt. And as I said before, this will work beautifully with a plain back top. It will work incredibly well with, oh my Lord, I love it with that, with a knit over the top. It will also go really well with your blazer, sorry, blazer or a t-shirt. Whilst you're here, that over that would look lovely. You won't be able to see the lining, so you'll just be able to see the pink blazer. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful options that you can have two and then three, because this in its own right works as a blouse. It will work with jeans, 
as I've got on now. It will work with, love, oh my Lord, I love that, with the cargo pants. Suddenly you've got a great outfit, put that with heels and off you go. Um, it will work really, really well with the wide leg trousers as well. You just need to think about three occasions when you can wear said, um, said blouse or any new um, item that you're buying, three different occasions. I then want you to be able to think about three outfits that you can make in your own wardrobe. So you will have jeans, check. Probably black trousers, check. You've probably got a black skirt, check. Suddenly you've got three very different outfits, all from, and then if you think about the skirt, three different occasions to wear that, three different outfits to wear with that, You've then got the dress, three different occasions to wear that. You don't need to wear an outfit with it because you've already got it. But actually, even as a dress, you could wear that with trainers, you can wear it with boots, you could wear it with heels, you could wear it with sandals in the summer. Little options that make such a big difference. The other one, last one I want to talk to you about is the jumpsuit. Going back to thinking about one thing to put on, um, if you are in a bit of a star art and you are a denim fanatic, even if you're not a denim fanatic, this is the easiest way to suddenly feel like a different person. You can put this on and wear it with boots. You can wear it in the winter. You can wear it with trainers. You can wear it with pumps. You could wear it with a leather jacket. You could wear it with a blazer. You can layer underneath it. It looks beautiful with a little polo neck underneath it. It's just something, if you are, as I say, really, really attached to your jeans, but feel that you are in a bit of a star rut, it's something that's still in that same vein, but actually very, very different. And I promise you, once you've gone down the jumpsuit route, you will become addicted. That's my only warning. And now it's time for, drum roll, um, special occasions. We will have special occasions. And it's got to be, for me, a dress. They're not all dresses though, so do bear with me. Um, first up, I'm going to start with um, the most beautiful spring print. This is from Safin. It comes with um, what looks like a belt, but actually it's not a belted dress. So this you can wear as a beautiful tie around your neck. You can either wear it once round and let it hang, or you can actually tie it in a bow. It's completely up to you. Alternatively, you can add it to your bag. You can do lots of other options with it. Um, this as a dress is just exquisite because it's fitted, that's actually not fitted, it's semi-fitted. So it's going to give you a little bit of a shape, but it's not going to be clingy. We're not looking at super structured dresses right now. I think coming out of lockdown, we still want to have that little bit of comfort that we've all grown so accustomed to. This is absolutely beautiful and it has <clears throat> pockets. Um, or pockets, depending on how you want to call them, pockets or pockets. Let's call them pockets because that's what they are. A beautiful, beautiful option. Um, alternatively, there are, this one is from Primrose Park, um, shirt dresses. So we've got something that's, I, I think there's a slightly more casual feel to a shirt dress, but it still does have that dressy look to it. This again, I'm getting there just to prove that it has a pocket. Those details make all the difference. It does have um, a belt with it, but there is absolutely no reason why you couldn't um, add your own belt. That would be great. You can actually see it does have a line for a belt here, so it, you know you do you do you can see where the belt is supposed to go. Alternatively, do you know what shirt dresses are great for? They are great to wear on holiday over a bikini as a kimono. You can always wear a shirt dress as a jacket, jeans, t-shirt, shirt dress absolutely beautiful, just don't do it up. Um, so this, I think, is a gorgeous option. Again, such a lovely, lovely spring-like color. And I pretty much think that you can wear these sorts of dresses everywhere. The beauty of them, here is uh, another one of the Primrose Park. In fact, I think it's probably the same, it's the same dress in a different colorway. So depending on what you love, which one you prefer, the pink or if you prefer the green. The joyous thing about these is they can be dressed up and dressed down. They look sublime with trainers but wear them with a pair of heels for something a little bit smarter. I mean, there is no, I'm, I'm gonna get all excited and start talking 
Ascot, Henley, all those amazing things that you wear a dress for. A wedding, these are absolutely perfect. You can make it smarter, you can make it more outfit appropriate by just changing up your accessories. So a little clutch bag would be beautiful um, for something a little bit dressier, or we've got my ultimate favorite, the Bex Sondergaard would look, oh my, those two together are just, I love, love, love those two together. So a cross body bag makes it just a little bit more casual. If you are not looking for a dress though, May I present, that actually is the dress, sorry, but they're in the same prints. If you like the dress, that's the dress. Again, it has, well, that's beautiful, actually. That one is absolutely gorgeous. Sorry, I've not seen that one in more detail. I love that one, it's a fin, a beautiful coral, I'm going to call it. Sticking with the coral, may I present the jumpsuit. Now, this isn't for everybody, but if you are a fan of something that isn't a dress, you may well want to try this. It is just different. It's beautiful. It's flattering. It's got a, uh, that's, I mean, in fact, you know what I would do with this? I would probably, I think it'd be lovely with the belt like that, or you can actually wear your own belt with it. That's the joy of all these things. You can really customize them to make them very, very, very much your own look. A beautiful dress that will take you to the supermarket. It will take you to a barbecue with friends. I keep saying it because I know it sounds so weird, but it's something to look forward to. There are many options. Now, I've got two for the more petite amongst you. I'm always being asked, why, um, is there, are there two? I think I have to, I do, I do, I do. Um, two, can I, I am more petite, can I wear a dress? Yes, you absolutely can. Look for a dress that has less fabric. So the shirt dresses are beautiful, but they're quite voluminous in their structure. Whereas something that is a little bit more paired back like this, something that's a little bit, um, it's just, there's just not as much volume to it. It still has the pockets. It's also really, really easy to alter if you need to alter it. There's that one. And then there's also this one, which is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Whilst it is a big print and it's often better to wear a smaller print if you are petite, because this does have the beautiful star detail on it as well, um, that isn't going to overwhelm you. So there are two dresses there that are absolutely perfect for the more petite amongst you. I do have one though that I want to show you because this has been a favorite of mine for a couple of years now. I've been lucky enough to work with Label Mix for probably three, four years now. And this dress is just stunning. It's by Safin, it's green, it is the most, I wish we had feel -a vision because it is the most stunning quality. It's heavy as in luxurious, but it's not as in heavy as in warm to wear crepe. It has this um, belt, I'm going to call it, which you can do lots of things with. And I know this because I've used, um, I have styled a lady in this. So you can wear it um, round, you like that, this is good, isn't it? Wear it round once, you can wear it round once like that and tie it, or you can tie it at the back. So you have got lots of options. It is the most flattering dress if you are um, curve. If you are a little curvier, this dress is beautiful because you can create your own waist with these amazing ties. And the fabric is heavy enough to not cling, but it's not, as I say, it's not going to make you really, really warm. No one needs that. A beautiful, beautiful option. But it doesn't necessarily need to be all about the dress. We've had a jumpsuit and we're coming on to my, probably my favourite piece from the collection this year. And that is the leather skirt. If you've not had a leather skirt, you will actually wonder how you have lived without one. They are the most useful pieces of, I was gonna say equipment. No, they are the most useful thing to have in your wardrobe. They work perfectly with a knit. So a beautiful cashmere knit and boots in the winter. They work stunningly for work with a little blouse and whatever shoes you deem appropriate. They look amazing dressed up to go out for dinner with um, a little, I mean, this, this shirt has the one with the Lurex gold thread in it. Absolutely beautiful and heels. Can you imagine wearing heels? I'm just gonna throw that out there, heels. Alternatively, I love it with a t-shirt and trainers. Unbelievably useful, 
unbelievably versatile, which are probably the same thing, but there we go. They're so good, I've said it twice. And they last forever. And can you see what I'm doing here? It has pockets. So I hope you enjoyed my little run through with some styling ideas of how to get you back out again when we are allowed. Um, the main point I think is to remember that just by the addition of one or two clever little items in your wardrobe, you will suddenly have some amazing options to wear and you will feel so much better when you know you look great.